that it was wrong, but he couldn't help but doing it because he didn't want to have a loss. How much are they trying to justify their reasons for doing it? So you'll see a trader going, well, I want to give my trade room to breathe, or... So, moving and removing stops. Yeah, I had uh, someone on social media say to me that uh, he got into a bad habit of if a trade started coming down towards his stop, he would actually start moving it further away or would even get rid of it entirely. And he said and I, he knew that it was wrong, but he couldn't help but doing it because he didn't want to have a loss. But isn't that what it's all about? That's what stop losses are for, hmm. is to accept sometimes when you're wrong. Clues in the name, yeah. yeah. But I think it, I, I'd like to say, well, firstly, the fact that he has confessed is a good thing because I know for a fact there are a lot of traders out there that will be doing exactly the same thing but would never admit it because yeah. once, I think that comes back to this idea of um, once you're stopped out, you know, it's the association with the trade being wrong, you failed, you've done something wrong, you don't want to, you don't want to be in that position where the market is telling you what you did has failed on you. Mm. And I think it's a, it's a common thing, a thing that probably more traders are doing than they're admitting. I think it's really important the trader looks at it and says, um, how much are they trying to justify their reasons for doing it? So you'll see a trader going, well, I want to give my trade room to breathe, or um, you know, I've, I've used it before and it's worked out. And then invariably, what will happen is if it, will, it, will come, it will catch up with them. If they keep doing it and keep doing it, there'll be that one trade that rolls over, keeps going, keeps going, and then they're in a position where they're, you know, they're, they're 10, 20 percent down. They've given a huge amount back. So it's important that they, they look at why they're doing it. What brokers mean by that is they run their, their losing trades far greater than they run their, actually their winning trades. Am I behaving like the masses? And if that's the case, do you want to be like the masses? Because that's what the masses are doing out there. Well, uh, the, the broker's stats support why they shouldn't do it. Yes. Because brokers have all this information. And the information is that their clients in the main, a large percentage of their clients, obviously not all, but a large percentage of their clients run their stop losses and bank their profits too soon. And what we mean by that, and what brokers mean by that, is they run their, their losing trades far greater than they run their, actually their winning trades. So if we focus on the losing trades, which is what we're doing here, is to say, right, don't carry on moving your stops, because if you do that, you're just like the masses out there that brokers have all this information on that we know why traders lose, because there was that study that IG did, I think it was IG, one of the uh, mm. brokers anyway, that said that something like 64% uh, of their customers, no, they're, sorry, that was it, their customers had on average a 64% win rate, and yet 75% of their customers <laughs> lost money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it tells you in the data there. So if you are doing that type of thing, you've got to think, Am I behaving like the masses? And if that's the case, do you want to be like the masses? Because that's what the masses are doing out there. They run their, they, they either remove their stops entirely, like you said, because it's that desire to be right. And in, actually in the, in, in the markets, we need to accept being wrong frequently. Yeah. Trade global markets now.